Hey everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Yealink EHS40 adapter to your Plantronics wireless headset. So let's get into that right now. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use the CS520 here with a Yealink phone. Now, the CS520 is one of many models that you could potentially use with the EHS40. All of the Plantronics or now Poly CS500 series, Savvy 700 series, Savvy 7200 series, and Savvy 8200 series headsets all work with the EHS40 adapter. I know that's a lot of different models there, but all of them are going to be compatible. Now, the purpose of the EHS40 is so you can answer and end calls when you're away from the desk. If you don't have the EHS40 when connecting to your compatible Yealing phone, then you'll have to answer and end calls at the phone rather than having the added freedom to uh, be wire free, roam around when a call comes in. When you have the EHS40 installed, you would press one button on your headset and you would be able to answer or end that phone call. With your Plantronics headset will come a cord like this. This is the standard phone cord. But when you use the EHS-40, you're not gonna use this phone cord, so move that to the side or unplug it if you have it plugged in. Never throw the cord away though, because it does come in handy for many cases in the future. So if you ever need to use that cord, it's always good to have it on hand. All right, so in the box of the EHS-40, it gets a little bit confusing because there's so many different cords. Yealink includes every adapter for the different manufacturers like Jabra, Sennheiser, and Poly. So that way everything is in the box no matter the brand of headset you have. With that, it causes a little bit of confusion with all the different cords. So first off, when you open the box, you're gonna have your instructions. You're gonna have the EHS-40 adapter. Just looks like this. And then we're gonna have on top is actually the Plantronics or the cord for your Poly wireless headset. So the other cords in the box, you can just pretend like those don't exist when you're connecting uh, a Poly or Plantronics headset uh, to your Yealing phone. So you only need this cord and the adapter box. So what we'll do is take the cord out of the bag. You're gonna see there's two ends big clip with a 3.5 millimeter type jack and then these other cords over here so what we'll do is we'll go to the wireless headset and in the back of the charging base you can only connect it one way so you would take the cord and plug it into the big port with a 3.5 millimeter you'll usually hear it click into place which it didn't right there oh uh, there we go so it clicks into place and then you would take the other end of the cord the big clip only goes in one spot and the small clip only goes in the other spot. So once you have the right cords out of the box, it becomes very easy to install from there. Now, all you would do is take the USB cord and you would plug it into, uh, for this model, it would be in the back of the charging base, but other models are on the right side of the uh, charging, or excuse me, of the uh, phone base, not a charging base, the phone base. Uh, so once you plug the USB cord in, on the screen of your Yealink phone will show that the cord had been plugged in and installed. And from there, it's plug and play. So once it installs, which is immediately, at that point, you should be able to take the headset out of the charging base, put it on. Now, say I'm away from my desk, uh, my desk say I'm grabbing a cup of coffee and my phone rings. I'm gonna hear a beep tone in the headset. At that point, all I would do is press one button on my headset and that would answer the phone call. When I'm done with the phone call, I'd press that same button and I would be off the phone call. I can mute and you'll also be able to mute and unmute your microphone, which is essentially kind of like the hold button. So if you need to put a caller on hold, you could always just say, hey, I'm gonna put you on a brief hold, mute your microphone, make your way back to the desk and then put them on hold or do whatever you need to do from the phone, like transfer a call. So that's it. That's how you set up the Yealink EHS-40 adapter. If there is anything I missed or anything that you want me to clear up, let us know in the comments. But if this video is helpful, please hit the like 
and subscribe for more videos like this. That's it for today. This is the setup of the Yealink EHS-40 adapter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.